Hello, I am Jody Wolf. Today is March 28, 2011 at 1.21 a.m. in Birmingham. Um, topic, Muslim versus America and Israel for 2012. These are some predictions. So, let me try to wing this. So, first, let me tell you about the great numbers of people who are Muslim or Muslim by association, meaning they were born into it, um, married into it. So they do not hate, nor do they want war with Israel or America. It is but a few with this kind of hate and hatred that put the fear in many. And you'll die if you're not with us. No other choice. This is their mentality. We give, and this is America, give hundreds of millions to a Palestinian authority. And with that money, they prepare for our demise. Not the citizens, as I earlier stated, but Hamas, who has a concrete foothold in the Palestinian Authority. And then Hamas, Shiites, call us monkeys and pigs and laugh at our stupidity for giving this kind of money. But ask Hillary Clinton about that. She's the one that okayed it. I'm sure at Obama's urging the Muslim radicals hate America so bad, and I'm going to tell you a couple of, couple of really bad things. They hate us so bad that this and both, the Shiites and Sunnis, that they, now I want you to understand this, this happened, but you haven't heard about it. The Muslim terrorists put explosives by an operation into dogs, two dogs, and put them on an airline, which is FedEx, in Yemen. And they started out there and flew to United Arab Emirates. And of course, the plane landed, and they're probably onloading, and they see the two dogs in cages, and they're dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is kind of, you know, two dead dogs. So they removed the animals. And um, after like an autopsy to find out why they died in the hold of a, a jet airliner, that's when they found the explosives. It was uh, an operation that did go bad, but it was an intent an intent, rather, to blow up the planes. And apparently there was more than one plane. Um, also, and, and, and I don't have a name, and I wouldn't give it to you if I did, but a person not named at Dallas-Fort Worth said that they, this is the intel, um, said the Muslim terrorists were so bad that they had even planned God forgive them for using children 10 years old and younger in the same manner. Can you, can you imagine that much hate being in people? I can't. I really can't. But that was their intent. And they probably will at some time, if they haven't already tried again, it's not that they want to destroy America physically, but spiritually by bringing Islam in and opposing, imposing, in, I'm sorry, imposing Islam, and they destroy all those who oppose them. The Constitution, our Constitution, the, speaks of the separation of church and state. Islam is just the opposite. Church and state are one. And you see how screwed up they are. We must remain separated as church and state. 
Honor killing, wife, daughter, beating wife, beating daughter is completely acceptable. The Quran chapter 4 said, man rules, beat women, kind of just like that. An Egyptian Jewish Christian woman who is married to to a man that uh, where I got some of this intel from said usually you never hear of noise coming from your, your neighbor's homes you know it's at night but then Muslims moved in nearby and almost every night there were heard terrible screams coming from that house. The louder the screams, according to the Quran, the louder the shouting meant the more respect that was shown toward the Quran. It is a commandment to beat women often. And you want this? Denmark and the British Isles are beginning to incorporate Sharia law into their own. And they know now it's a horrible, horrible mistake. Sharia dominates always. Do not allow Sharia in none at all of this country, any part of it. Unlike what the federal judge, or I'm sorry, I don't know if he's a federal judge, but the judge in Florida did. He made a huge mistake, and he has allowed that door to be open. He opened the door to Muslim Sharia law. So we must be like Oklahoma. Vote to simply say, no, we will not even vote on it. That law passed. 70% of the people said no, like hell no. 10% yes, 20% didn't care. Make no mistake about it, people. Allah is Satan. Don't let him in your country. And doggone keep him out of your house. There's a better way. Jody Wolf exposed.